finish this LS swamp square body right here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pete and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna put a wire harness on my LS swap square body and see if we can get it running again. We had issues with my factory harness we tried to alter, so we'll watch the end and see if we can get it going. But I'm gonna install this one here. That one's installed. Can we let the jack down? Yeah. I can't work in monster trucks. I'm not seven foot tall. <laughs> You still left this and this makes my <laughs> Just because you destroyed my wiring doesn't mean you should blame me. I don't know, but I'm about to go over where you are. Because doing it where I'm at is not working. I still can't see nothing. Why are these things such a pain in the ass? I found a knife. There's just like a knife. Just a random knife. This is mine. <gasps> Did you know it was there? Yes. Are you sure? I was gonna. There you go. <laughs> Why do I hate them? Moltec is, I think, <coughs> the hardest one to get on and off. I probably only stabbed myself three times with this. Because I can't. He would get a copyright infringement. Because Tilden is filming. Okay. What is this to? Where did this, there we That's go. That's your ground. Uh, pink. Is there a purple wire down on the starter? Because that would go down on the starter. What are you talking about? All right, so the hole through the firewall comes through here. I see I shine the light back there to it. So we have to take apart this and probably the vent here to be able to gain access to that hole with the firewall. Where do you start? Uh, I would start there. That's the furthest part out. working really well. Okay.
tutto. Ok. Yeah, we only got through one car. We're about to get to the work. about to get to that part that's uh, wider than it. Yep, that's exactly where I'm at. So we got the wire harness in and hopefully it's done and we're ready to try and start it now. So hopefully it works. You excited, Dad? This is my excited face. You can't tell I'm excited, buddy. Like, I'm excited. Oh, really? Uh, that's my excited face. Sure. What are, what are Let's you hope saying? this works. I might be a little nervous. It made noises. Snap, let's go. Alright, so the truck moved under its own power, so I say we go take it for a test drive and see if it shifts and everything. Getting all rowdy there. Already, he's, he's, he's that excited. He's already getting rowdy with it. <laughs>
break shit easily. Okay, so we just finished up the square body. It actually ran, drove, everything. We did run into some problems. There was one time where we changed the tune and <laughs> it didn't run and it wouldn't start. Come to find out, it didn't have any gas in it. We put a new tank, I dropped maybe two gallons in it and <laughs> we ran out. So we messed with it for about an hour and all we were is out of gas. So my new model would be, I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. That should be my new model. Sling blade. <laughs> so I want to thank Tilden for all of his help with this swap. It's been awesome. It's been a little bit of a pain, but we got through it. We tried to use the factory harness. We ended up having to use, a, we risked it and went with the Amazon one. I almost ordered a name brand one, but we went with the Amazon one and it ended up working out. It's actually quite a good harness because we had an issue with, we had different o2 sensors so we looked and in their book they actually gave us a part number and it actually helped us so we went to the parts store bought the correct ones and it worked so yeah. that problem got solved so that helped that was actually pretty helpful for a cheap harness i was surprised they had that so pretty that's pretty awesome yeah. so we ended up mounting it inside the cab if you want to come look i'll show you a little messy but you can see it's mounted in there the computer and the fuse box mm -hmm. 